And so we begin this video in the North Dallas suburb of Farmer's Branch. Welcome back to the channel and welcome if it's your first time. I am Tampa J and here we go. I've got my rental car right here, baby. Just rented it back at the uh, Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. That's the airport that I chose to fly to or fly into Dallas. Actually, there's, there's a couple of them, but that was the major one. But here we go again. And this time, tracking down some more family locations. But one of the greatest comedies of my childhood. I, can't you tell I'm excited I'm everywhere right now. I'm so stoked to be here to start this video because this movie meant so much to me as a kid and one of my favorites of all time. And who knew it would take a movie like this to bring me out here to Dallas, Texas for the first time. All right, all right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the filming locations. A problem, child. Oh yeah, we're talking about John Ritter. We're talking about Gilbert Godfrey filmed back out here in the Fort Worth, Dallas area, all the way around this area back in the 1989, released in 1990, a hilarious film about an adopted devil, Junior, played by Michael Oliver. Uh, amazing. I had such a good time re-watching this movie to find these filming locations so we could go out here and check out where the movie was filmed over 30 years ago right here in the Dallas Fort Worth, Texas. And here we are today, 2023. Gonna check out these locations. This is something I've always wanted to do. I love filming locations. I get so giddy seeing where the movie was made. Comparing the scene then and now, what the scene looks like today, the filming location, man, I love it. And uh, I couldn't wait to do Problem Child. These locations took a lot of digging. You're gonna see a lot of stuff you've never seen before. Uh, a lot of these locations, actually a majority of them, have never been shown before on video, and I had to really, really do a lot of research and spend a lot of time finding some of these. So we start here in Farmer's Branch, this neighborhood right here on North Dallas, the first location right across the street here. I am Tampa J, and if you like Problem Child, and if you like filming locations, you're in the right place. There is much ahead, my friends, and if you haven't seen the movie, well, check it out afterwards. I hope you enjoyed this tour. And for the first filming location, we come to 13301 Dennis Lane. There's the address right here on the concession stand. We will get here in a moment because you can see this in the background of the baseball game scenes played out here at Big Ben's Little Braves home field. This is where all of those scenes were filmed. First, in the beginning of the movie, when Little Ben, who is the coach, is over here and uh, coaching the Little Braves. And then later when Junior joins the team, this is the ball diamond where he wreaks havoc by uh, running the bases with the bat and slugging all the sluggers along the way. Yes, we'll get there. I'm gonna break down the scene for you, but I just wanted to show you that this is the baseball diamond from Problem Child. This is amazing. And what's amazing that this backstop, all this chain link fence has not changed. This is screen used, my friends. They have not changed out the fence here. Just to show you the ball diamond here. And then I'll put a shot into frame and I'll show you how I found this. And there's the shot. At that time, I guess this was ball diamond number two. This is cool because also the lights in the outfield, those towers, those are exactly the same. That is amazing. This screenshot is when uh, Big Ben Healy is out here promoting uh, the Little Braves and he uh, reveals his giant, uh, basically his giant form of himself above the scoreboard in the outfield and they were standing right out there on the pitching mound before the the game. This was Founders Day. Wow, John Ritter was standing right here. Coach of the Little Braves. When Junior was coming up to bat, John was standing about right here. You can actually make out some of the brackets of the chain link fence right behind him in the screenshot there, right before the dugout. The bleachers have moved a little to the left because you can see them behind him in the screenshot, but there you go. John Ritter was standing right here. Actually, there you go, right there. That's amazing. And behind the backstop, this concession stand right here can be seen behind Junior here as he's swinging the bat. The doors were painted white and there was a Jay's potato 
advertisement on the left door. You can, you can see that in the still shot there, way back behind Junior. Uh, you see the guy keeping the scoreboard and that scoreboard bench? Well, check this out. That scoreboard bench, it's still here. Look at that, that's amazing. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Yeah, you can obviously see this brick structure behind the ball diamond, behind Junior. One of the most hilarious scenes, Junior takes off after finally hitting the ball, but takes the bat with him after Ben says, don't let the bat go. And he's like, no problem. So he takes the bat with him and he comes out like this. The camera's kind of following him as, as he goes. He takes out the first baseman. You can make out that restroom there behind them, some of that screenshot. And then he runs all the way around, takes out the second baseman, the shortstop rounds third, and then all the way home, right there. And everyone is running for their lives. This kid has freaked everyone out. Oh wow, this is incredible. So check out the fence here, the backstop, the roof, everything right here, of course. This is where Junior is about to cross home plate. And you can see him, you can make him out down in the right hand corner and everyone is running for their life because this little devil is running around beating up people with a baseball bat. And there you go, this is cool. Get my shoes a little brick dusty this morning, staying on home plate, check this out. Here's another shot of John Ritter standing right there in front of the dugout. The big Ben's Brave sign was up here. It's a little different, but it was right there in the movie. Check it out. That is the same dugout 30 something years ago. John Ritter was standing right there. That's incredible. Touchdown, 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 touchdown. I don't know if anyone's done that here since Michael Oliver. I just had to do it. And now for the next location. I came about 25 minutes from the last one. Welcome to Mesquite, Texas. Another neighborhood of Dallas, Mesquite, Texas. And here we are at 3540 East Imperium Circle. Here's the above view on Google Maps. That's where I'm standing in this parking lot. I'm gonna get a little closer, but welcome to the location, the former location of Big Ben's Sports Town. Looks a whole lot different, doesn't it? But this is where they filmed Big Ben Sports Town. This is the building. The wind is picking up the Texas wind. Pardon, pardon us, buddy. It is now a church, Lake Point Church. You've got to use your imagination. The way I found this, actually, it took me a long time to find it. A lot of searching on Google Earth. But I finally dropped down into this parking lot. And you see this red line on the former sports town? In the Google imagery, that line was still red back a few years ago. You can't see that line today, but it's behind these trees and it's painted a blue. And that ultimately helped me find this building or the shape of it. There was a tower right here, a big bin, right next to the doorway. These three doorways, there was a door here in the movie, not there anymore, it's been changed. But this is where little Ben Healy worked for his dad, big Ben Healy. And they filmed inside here as well. The sports store was all set up inside here for the movie. And that's where Junior crashed through that door right there in the car and took out that giant display of tennis balls. And now that I'm a little bit closer, I'm gonna put the screenshot in the bottom right. Notice the red line that goes from the left and to the right of the doors. That line is still up here. It's just a different color, it's gray. Hold on, these trees are in the way. Those trees weren't here back in 1989, but that line is still up here. It's changed so much here, no more Big Ben Tower to the left here. But this is the door where Junior would have drove the car through. And here is a screenshot of the camera. Kind of looks like it's on the hood of the car as it's about to come up the sidewalk right here where I'm standing and go through that portion. There's Junior, right here actually. Right there, this door. And notice there's a little port up here above the glass on the ceiling of this awning before the door. Not the same port, but there is a light in that same area. This is where the car went through, right here. Whoa, this is cool. So the scenes were so quick out here in the parking lot leading up to Big Ben's that I had to pause the screen just right several times to find evidence to find this location. Notice this wall out here and this building. 
I'll put the screenshot in the bottom right. You can make out the store to the right as well. Again, blue line in the screenshot, red line, and also this fence and that building right there. This is a quick shot as Junior's driving the car towards the front door of Sportstown. Okay, I came out to the far end of the parking lot. Check this out. I'll put the screenshot into frame. This is little Ben getting out of the station wagon. Look at the sports town sign above the station wagon there. And also you can make out the furniture sign, uh, Pigeons Furniture Store to the right of the station wagon. Okay, here we are today. Check this out. I'll put it into the lower right, but you can make out both of these signs then and now. The sports town sign was right there in that one. And also they were building the mall during that time because you can see some scaffolding behind in the screenshot of them building the structure behind the trees now and you can make out these two signs there you go sports town right there big beds this is so cool it's so it's so awesome to be here and if you're looking for big ben sports town it sits behind the target right there there it is so it sits behind the sports town or the target, the sports town sits behind the target here in Mesquite. So there you go, Big Ben's. That was fun. All right, on to the next one. All right, folks, bear with me because for the next few scenes, we'll be right here in Mesquite across from the Dallas County Government Center, the Municipal Center, right here at Galloway. So there was a couple scenes filmed down here. I'll show you when we get there, but specifically right here in this spot where this newer office building is, once was the gas station that the Bowtie Killer visited after breaking out of jail. That gas station was located right here on this island, right between these two roads, and it was torn down years ago. This is where Michael Richards stole the car that he would later drive up to the Healy house was right on the back side here. Now there's quite a few things I can show you to match up. It's obviously gone, but this is where the gas station was where the two police officers drove up and Michael Richards came out with the clown poster and took off around that way and the end to end the scene. This building here specifically you can see as he's taking off and also as he's pulling in to the car that he brought from the prison, you can see the municipal building, this building specifically behind him as well. Now I will break all that down for you, but I just wanted to show you the actual filming location of the former gas station from Problem Child sat right here. Coca-Cola. So here's the screen grab of when Michael Richards is first pulling in, the Bowtie Killer is pulling into the lot. Notice across the street, you see the municipal building. Right there specifically, that area, that building has not changed. So he pulls in to the former gas station parking lot, passes the gas, the fuel island, and pulls in right here. And pretty funny, this is when the Bowtie Killer realizes that the cops are fueling up outside near the car that he stole as he escaped from prison. Look out the window across the way. Now this will be the first time you see this post office in the movie. Wait till we get there. But you can clearly see this building beyond the police officers. And up the hill here, that is a United States post office that sits right here in front of the former window of the gas station. Yeah, Kramer would have been right in there somewhere. This is, this is so cool, but you can definitely see this post office behind the clown poster out beyond the glass, but specifically the roof behind him. Okay, so here you go. Cold River, 50 miles on that sign before the car as the Bowtie Killer pills out of the station. Awning, hospital, telephone pole, Cold River sign would have been somewhere in this vicinity. This is where Michael Richards uh, pulled out, or Martin was his name in the movie, his real name, the Bowtie Killer. This is so cool. This is where it happened. There you go in the bottom right here in corner. Look at all that. Okay, so there you go. All right, Mesquite, right down the road, the next filming location, I'm gonna get in my car and go over this way, past the municipal building. There was another building. This whole complex was used for the filming of Problem Child, this area down in here. And welcome to the City of Mesquite Municipal Complex. This is where Mr. Peabody worked for the Children Adoption Services in the film. No, not this building, 
but the former building that once sat on this property. I'll show you where it used to sit. Actually, it used to sit over to the left of the new one. 751 North Galloway, City Hall, Police Court. The former building used to sit right here, long ways. And now, I'll put in the screenshots to make reference. It's gone, so I can't really show you anything, but there are a few things I will show you that were in the background here in a moment. But here are the screenshots. This is where the Cold River Municipal Building was where Junior was adopted. This is where uh, Ben Healy and Flo went to talk to Gilbert Godfrey, uh, Mr. Peabody, and this is where they would talk to him to ultimately go over to the orphanage and adopt Junior. And also, this is where Junior hijacks the car out front and goes on a little joyride. That building was used. Uh, they also filmed inside as outside as well and it was it was right here now just to put things into perspective before i break all of this down uh, you can see some of these buildings in the background but the sidewalk ran along the building right here and i do have some google imagery of the building a few years back before they tore it down before they built the new one that i can throw in there as well but this is the sidewalk and the parking spot area where Junior, the red car, I think that was like a Yugo or something, was parked right there and it took off and went on a joyride and went out into Galloway and went that way towards Big Ben's. Junior takes off in the car. Now I'll go to this exact spot where he enters the street, but I just wanted to show you because the trees block the way, the building to the left of the car in the distance is right here to the left today. You can make it out pretty well then and now. It was blue during the time of the movie but you can definitely see it. It's a laundromat slash auto zone today, but you can definitely see that to the left of the car as John Ritter's trying to get Junior out of the car there. But he's coming down this former sidewalk along the former building. Now that building, that auto zone and laundromat, I showed you in this screenshot earlier. You can't really see it now. That's why I wanted to show it to you over there first. But these trees and everything blinds it or hides it. This is where the sidewalk was that Junior drove down and into Galloway. Actually, you can make out a phone pole right next to the car in the screenshot. But right here is where he enters the traffic and heads this way. This is where John Ritter would have jumped on top of the car right before it entered the street. And I have now come across the street. Right there is where we last left off. Junior comes across the way. Little Ben on top of the car comes up over the median here, and then drives straight for the church's chicken. In the movie, this was a Western Union, but in the screenshot, you can clearly make out the shape of the roof, and also, again, the post office in the far left. This building, definitely in the movie. This is a cool, uh, this was hilarious, because this is when Ben like flips over the hood and is grabbing, uh, holding on for dear life as Junior just just kind of just strolls through this parking lot right in front of the former Western Union. Also, that building right there, the former Captain D's, that can be seen in the background as well. That was actually the biggest identifier. Me growing up, uh, going to Captain D's, noticing the shape of that building, knowing that was a Captain D's at the time of the movie in the background. I made it out in the screenshot below. That was one of my other clues. That was right across from the former municipal building. And we're getting closer to downtown Dallas for the next series of filming locations. Started out east and I'm working my way In into Dallas. Mile, take exit 48B toward Munger Boulevard. You got it. And now we come to Swiss Avenue and Parkmont. One of the nicest neighborhoods I've ever been into right here on the corner, 5500 Swiss. This is Lucy Henderson's house. This is the little girl who had the birthday party and guess who was finally invited because they had a little devil of a sudden we're talking about the heelys this was little lucy's birthday party they filmed inside and outside the party went down in the backyard the pool scene uh, when junior takes all of the presents throws them into the pool uh, puts the frogs inside of the uh of the punch. Uh, every time I hear uh, It's My Party and I Can Cry If I Want To, every time I hear that song, I think of this movie and this scene that went down right here. Now this is a different angle 
There's a couple gentlemen setting up over here. It looks like they might be having a party or something. But this, the screenshot below, you can definitely see that this is the exact house and not much has changed. Leaf blower in the background, but you see that white van? That is where that white Volvo, almost in the exact spot that the white Volvo is parked in the movie. There you go in the bottom right hand corner. The Henderson house, Lucy Henderson, boo hoo. I came around the back of the house hoping I could peek through and see the pool area because they did have the party right out back here with a pinata. All of that happened right back here, but you can see there's a thick shrub. There's a little gap though. Oh, you can kind of make out the back side of the house there. I think that's as good as it gets, folks. But right out there is where they filmed the party scenes, right out back of the house. Lucy's. And they used this street more than once. Lucy's house, just adjacent across the block right there, that is the first house you actually see in the movie as it begins. Little Junior in the basket as a baby being placed on the porch. That is the first house you see. Check this out. 5439. Swiss Street where Junior was first dropped off at a doorstop. Now we know later in the movie he was taken back to the orphanage 30 times. So this would have been his first time after uh, urinating on that poor lady right there on the front porch. They actually filmed that scene right there on the front porch. And I'm zoomed all the way in so you can see it with the screen shot from the movie in the frame. You can definitely make out the windows and the door is painted pink today. Looks like they were painted white or like a cream color. And not too far up from those last sets of houses, but check out the neighborhood. Still a nice neighborhood, but has changed quite a bit. Welcome to 4714 Swiss Avenue. The house right in the middle there, the Healy house. Oh my gosh, it's little Ben's house. Right out front here, the front yard, this is where Little Junior came home the first time. Smile, say cheese doodles. Oh wow, okay, we're gonna get a little closer. I just wanna show you in the house, a different different blue, but the house is still painted blue. And here you go, I've got the house into frame right now. I'm gonna drop it back, here you go today. And then put it down in the right hand corner. It's the widest angle you see of the house in the movie. Wow. This is so cool. I wonder if the owner kept it blue on purpose. And the scenes were filmed inside there a little bit on the set. Uh, Junior's bedroom upstairs, that was a set, which was somewhere here in Dallas. But across the street, you first see this house for the birthday party. This is the neighbor's house. Uh, the Grand Wagoneer parked out here in the driveway that later uh, Ben would commandeer and take, a, take on a rampage across the city. But this house, Check it out, in the bottom right hand corner, this is the birthday party when Flo and uh, Ben are looking out the window imagining having a son so they can take to a birthday party. And you can see the balloons in the screenshot. There's the front porch, the neighbor's house right across the street. Oh yeah, in the, in the far right hand corner you can make out the Grand Wagoneer, which you see parked in the driveway. The neighbor slash uh, opponent baseball coach lived right here in this house in the movie. All right, I'm just gonna walk up slowly. It looks like it's pretty peaceful around here. I don't know how many people have con come out here before to document th this filming locations. Uh, just like any other filming locations, I'm sure they get it all the time, but uh, I'm not so sure. I could be one of the first people here. This is pretty neat. Oh, John Ritter looking down at Michael Oliver. This is right before they go on the camping trip. That telephone pole is in the same spot right before the driveway, John. Michael were standing right here. Little Ben and Junior right in front of the pole. You can also see the porch across the street of that house. But this was right here before the driveway. And I'm just gonna pan back and show you the house. And so many great scenes. Michael Richards, uh, the Bowtie Killer, comes up to the porch. Of course, Grandpa uh, comes out in a gurney right down the sidewalk here and then is put into the ambulance. Wow, Ben Healy's house. I was really looking forward to seeing this one. And Junior on the front porch. And notice the Healy sign, 4714. That address is accurate. Little Michael Oliver would have been right there, little Junior. 
poached up there. This is right after they took Grandpa off in the ambulance. And he's going through Grandpa's wallet there. I think there was like $80 or something. And I'm gonna put the screenshots below as I talk about it. Right here, the gurney coming out with the paramedics. All the neighbors gathered around the sidewalk. They bring Grandpa out. The ambulance is parked right here and they load him. And he takes off, or the ambulance takes off with Grandpa that way. And Fifi walked right through there. Oh, poor cat, its legs all bandaged up. And just to show you, right here, beside this post, right there, that's where Flo, Amy Yesback, and Michael Oliver Jr. took the photo. John Ritter would have been right here, taking the photo. Cheese doodles. Cheese doodles. I love that, I gotta use that more. And just to step away from the filming location, this is Swiss Avenue right here. Th three doors down right there, that's the Healy House. And John would have came across the street, got into the Grand Wagoneer, took off, did a Yui, drove across these yards right here, specifically this house right here, and would have came this way and went that way. And that's when he went after uh, Flo and Junior to track down and he headed to the circus. Oddly enough, that is our next filming location. We're gonna head out to the circus. Okay, so everything's cool but that is the first time i've ever visited a filming location and someone actually called the cops uh yeah that happened the, the officer totally got it he was totally cool he was just checking it out uh he got a call i guess one of the neighbors saw me walking around with the camera um it is very suspicious looking going to these uh filming locations so i totally get it however that is a first for me uh shout out to the officer for being super sweet i told him right away i was i was on the sidewalks so i didn't approach the property um so everything worked out but yeah so there you go sometimes that happens and that's the first time it's happened to me people thought i was being suspicious so there you go on to the next filming location everything's cool though i promise and now welcome to the texas state fairgrounds right out here is where the circus went down and welcome to the cotton bowl it looks like they're setting up for an event here for the weekend so i was able to walk closer into the fairgrounds than i thought i was going to so i'm going to walk right over here to this vicinity right over to the right of the cotton bowl historic cotton bowl that's where they filmed the scenes, the Midway scenes. And will you look at this? Here is the Midway sign I was looking for. This is the one you see in the movie. This is where they drive, actually coming this way. Ben is driving the Grand Wagoneer. He just took off from the street back there, Swiss Street. And uh, he drives right underneath here. There's a bunch of people gathered around. There's a clown actually right here who breathes fire. There's a good screenshot of him breathing fire right before this sign. And this is the entrance to the Midway. And you can make out the Ferris wheel, the big Ferris wheel back there. And the State Fair Administration building right here to the left of the Midway sign. And right across from it, again, the Cotton Bowl. Very cool to see this. I didn't realize the Cotton Bowl was out here. I've actually watched a lot of football games back in the day that took place here. So that's cool. Yeah, there you go. The fair from Problem Child, the Midway. Those scenes were filmed out here somewhere. The circus tent was set up somewhere. I don't know if that's still here, but I really don't think so. Um, if it was, it was probably taken down. That looked, that circus tent where the, the whole circus was going on, that looked like it was a temporary thing. And right over the administration building, I'm gonna I'm gonna count this as a roadside giant. This is as close as I'm going to get to big techs if I don't come to the state fair. This is as close as I'm gonna get to big techs. Uh, maybe I'll have to come back to the state fair to get a proper photo, but he's right there. Oh man, that's so awesome. He's legendary out here. I wish at night he, uh, he really comes alive out here. And also I have to add that I really like this rental car. It's growing on me. I wish I could keep it. It looks pretty mean, mean and tough. It's a muscle car. Ooh. Wish I could keep it. Can I keep it? No, I don't think they'll let me keep it. And for our next filming location, we come to the former bridge, the railway bridge, that went across Corinth Street. Now I say formerly. Now you can hear the cars down here, but this right here, this is a trucking parking lot. Look at this. I just want to show you. Right here in this location is where Big Ben catches up with the Bowtie Killer and Junior. Actually, you can make out 
wow, we can't get there. This is as close as we can get. This is closer than I thought I would get. But there's, uh, there's so many things that happen right here in this corner. This is where Flo gets launched in the suitcase into the back of that truck with the pigs in it. She lands right down in there and they're heading this way. The bow tie killer flips his car right here by the bridge and this is the end scene. The cops chase them along the railroad tracks here and this is where uh, this is where Michael Richards, the bow tie killer, reaches for the cop's gun and shoots Ben Healy. Although the bullet didn't kill him, it hits the button. I'm just explaining it right now. I'll show you in a second the screenshots. But dang, this spot right here. Okay, I've got a screenshot here where you can make out the stonework of the bridge and the steps that go up to the sidewalk. There's Ben and Junior. Look at that standing right there and this is cool because you notice in the screenshot it painted red the railing behind junior's head you can still make out some of that red today let me get a little closer look at this they were standing right here guys you can make out the red it's faded do you see it right there in the middle there's a screenshot a little different angle but that's where john ritter and Michael Oliver were standing back in 1989. Michael Richards popping up on the hood of the car. I'm pointing the camera in the direction. You can make out some of the power poles, the, the giant towers in the background that are the same then and now. Also that chemical plant way out in the distance. I think it's still there, but it's covered by the trees. Because of the fence, it's hard to get the exact angle, but there you go, flow in the back of that truck with the piggy going up that bridge. That's one of the last shots of the movie there. Actually, I think that is the last shot of the movie. Not the last shot of this filming locations video though. Oh no, no, we still gotta go over to Fort Worth and a little bit more in Dallas. And I'm glad the weather turned out to be pretty nice compared to this morning. Look at that. I had a plane delay of two hours because the weather was so bad out here, but it, it turned out to be a beautiful day. My first day in Dallas and uh, I'm really enjoying it. My first time here. Okay, this next filming location might be a little difficult. We're in the vicinity, but there's some sort of an audition or something going on because down the sidewalk of the studio, there are so many people and they're dressed to their best is like American Idol in town or something, or perhaps uh, one of those shows, I don't know. It looks like there's some sort of an audition, perhaps a concert going on, so I'm trying to find parking. I believe I found like the Trendy District. There's a lot of people gathered around here. It's Friday, pick up hot dog. So right here, Michael Richards throws Flo into the back of the car after putting her in the suitcase. So this is where that all began. This was a bar in the movie. It just says bar above the door and it still is a bar today. It's called Buzz Brews Kitchen. Get a bus today. It's kind of like Buzz Cola, Simpsons. Also, you can make out the Commerce Drive sign then and now in the screenshot. Way over to the right, you can make it out. Buzz Cola makes me think of Chris the Girl, Simpsons. Love you, babe. So, one more spot in Dallas near downtown, actually on the other side of downtown, and then we're heading out to Fort Worth. Dallas and Fort Worth today. First time ever. I love this. I love filming locations. Love Problem Child. Really glad that this got me out here. I was originally supposed to come here for something else, uh, but that got rearranged. I was supposed to come out here with a friend, and we're still going to make that trip in the future, but there was another... Uh, I don't want to say too much. I don't want to spoil it, but there was another subject matter I was originally supposed to do here this weekend, but shout out to my good friend Jonathan. Love you, man. We'll get it done sometime. I, I can't wait to see you in Dallas. Jonathan's been on the channel before in some of the videos way back. And uh, so yeah, we're gonna team up sometime and come back to Dallas. Much ahead here in Dallas. You and me, John. What set of hooters you got there? Excuse me? The owls. Dumb and dumber. Had to do it. And now I am on foot on the west side of downtown now. I had to come and show this. It is a small little filming location. There's a moment where John Ritter has a shotgun and is in, on top of the Grand Wagoneer. And there's a shot of them taking the corner right here off of Brooks onto this street. Now this is present day Hooters and this is the House of Blues. 
I don't think that's what it was back then. Also, this is Dick's last resort. This is a touristy area. But I just wanted to show you. I'm, I'm in the similar vicinity of John Ritter on top of the vehicle with a shotgun taking the corner just like these cars do. Now this is at the end before they get to the bridge, right before it. There's actually a better angle. I came across the street and got in the shadows a little bit. You can see more so the buildings in the background and the frame of the uh, overpass. But that's Broom Street right down there to the left and to the right of John. Okay, stopped at this light. I just realized where I'm at. Oh my gosh. Goosebumps on my goosebumps. This is Elm Street. Oh. Oh wow. I don't I don't even know what to say right now. I uh I didn't expect to come by here today, but this is the route I'm going. Um I think this location goes without being said what happened here. I want to come back and get on foot and make a video of this, just document my experience of the first time. But right up here, wow, I'm, I'm taking the route. This is kind of, whoo, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's the grassy knoll. Oh, it was right here. Oh my God, it was right here. <sighs> Holy crap. Whoa, I didn't expect to go through here today. And here we are at the corner of Throckmorton and 12th Street, in downtown Fort Worth. The St. Patrick Cathedral is our next filming location. No, it's not here. It's, this whole block is owned by the cathedral, but the actual church is right down here to the left. And that is where they filmed the scenes from Problem Child. Oh, look. Oh, man, I just missed Confessions. Looks like it closed at 5.30. Don't know if I'll be able to get inside the St. Patrick Cathedral, but this is definitely where those scenes were filmed. And it was kind of easy to find this, kind of not. I, again, I searched every church in Dallas, and then I started looking in Fort Worth, but because of the cathedral, it being so distinctive in the movie, I naturally were just, I was just looking for pictures of churches and boom, I found it. Oh my glory. Talk about a beautiful cathedral here. Look at this church. It being in the evening, the sun right above the crucifix there. Yeah, that, that sure is heavenly. All right, here goes nothing. It's open. All right, folks, so I went inside. I didn't feel comfortable taking the video, although I, I probably could have. It was very quiet, so I just took some photos. And here you go, the main, uh, basically the main church area. And you can clearly see these windows behind Flo, Jr. and Ben as they're, they're walking um, along the aisle in the movie. Specifically these angels behind them. Now I'm, I'm way far back. But yeah, I took some pictures. This is where they filmed Problem Child, that scene. And downtown Fort Worth, so quiet compared to downtown Dallas. A lot smaller too. All right. We've got a problem. We've got one more problem to fix. We haven't been to probably one of the most important filming locations of the whole movie, and you probably know what I'm talking about. The orphanage where Junior was adopted from. It's here in Fort Worth. And only 13 minutes away from the next filming location. I'll be there before six. Now keep in mind, I was supposed to get here two hours earlier than I did because of the flight delay. It would have been, wow, it would have been almost uh, four o'clock right now. All right, I'll stop and enjoy the view. Nice little scenery here, nice little city. So clean, reminds me of Tampa actually. Reminds me a lot of Tampa. And for the next Problem Child 1990 filming location, a universal picture. I'm setting all that up here. Welcome to 801 Victory Arts Center. Now this, Looks a whole lot different, but the same. There was a driveway here, kind of a dirt driveway. This has all been changed. There's a sidewalk leading up to the main entrance of the orphanage. This is where Junior was doing time, if you asked him, where the nuns were keeping him hostage, and also where Gilbert Gottfried came to in the beginning of the movie as Ben and Flo adopted the little bow tie killer. It would have drove right back there to the former gate. We're gonna get closer, this is an art center. You're free to come. I don't know if we're gonna get inside, but hey, I'm gonna try. Oh my glory, looky here. 
We have made it to St. Brutus. The gates are gone, but the building the same. Look at this, the orphanage. This is incredible. Not much has changed as far as the building, of course. The gate's gone. Check out the steeple way up there. And this is when they're first bringing Junior in to the orphanage in the beginning of the film, right after the credits, or during the credits, right there. And that's the same gate that you see later when Ben and Flo are adopting Junior. And all the nuns were gathered right out here as uh, Flo and Ben came up into the gate and were about to adopt Junior. Ben, little Ben, had the video camera and there's a good shot you see of like the crosshairs of the VHS video of the main entrance there. I'll put it into frame so you can see it. There you go. Bless those who enter here was actually written up here along the uh, along the rock right there above the door. Bless those who enter here. And all the kids were in the windows as Junior was leaving and coming down these steps. This is pretty sick. I can't believe this is going on. Wow, this is the orphanage from Problem Child. This is amazing. And the one nun right up there above the crucifix when Junior was being adopted. Holy cow, that's that's amazing. It's a little uh, little wider in the screenshot there. I'd, I'd seen some, uh, seen 30 something years, let's say that. And if you wanna see something very cool, look at this as Junior is being picked up by uh, ben and heading back to the car beyond the gate. You see this tree right here? Check this out. 30 years later, it's grown, but that tree right there is still here. And it adds up. They walk kind of this way outside the gate that was right here and went right past that tree. The station wagon was parked right here. This is where it would have drove. We know that because of this screenshot. That tree, that's the same tree. That's amazing. There you go, right in the corner there. John Ritter, so cool. And a look back at where the former wall was in the gate, right here, straight away. That's where the Healy's came. They didn't come too far into the orphanage, just right out there. All right, I am inside. Just kind of taking a peek around. The door was open. I'm gonna go upstairs. All right, no telling. I don't know, but this could possibly be the cafeteria. Where they filmed the cafeteria scene. I'll tell you what, it's absolutely beautiful in here. This looks more like a chapel though. I'm not so sure. Oh. Oh wow, maybe. I don't know, but they definitely did film inside this building. This is the St. Brutus Orphanage. And here is where the nun would have stepped outside. Right, right on the back side of the crucifix. We were just looking at that. There's also a bar over here. They, yeah, they rent these out for events like weddings and movies. This is starting to look more like an orphanage. Is this place haunted? Ooh. And I'm back outside. I took the elevator down to the ground level and it popped me out the back side of the art center of St. Brutus. So here you go, the back side of the filming location. That room I thought was the cafeteria, I was up in there, just so you know. And that room faces south. So I'm making my way back around. All right, here we go. Watching it in the spot that it happened. Hey, we must have gotten the pick of the litter. Look, everyone's come out to see him off. <laughs> there goes the balloons. Right there, on the steps. That's amazing. Holy cow. Talk about a funny movie. Man. Just crossed off another item on my filming locations bucket list with you all today. I really appreciate you joining me for this. Man, that was a good time. All right, folks, if you enjoyed this filming locations video of Problem Child, there's a train over there, it threw me off. If you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, 
give it a thumbs up right down there and subscribe below if it was your first time come on back or check out some of my more filming locations in the much behind there's a filming locations playlist on the main page of my youtube channel i've done a few videos here in texas and uh i'm gonna do one more filming locations video here in texas before i uh leave i'm i'm here briefly only a couple days uh for the weekend so there's some things out here i wanted to see and uh it means a lot to me that you guys come with me so thank you from the bottom of my heart always for watching and I think this is it. This is a wrap right here in Fort Worth, Texas. I am Tampa J. Know you're awesome, know you're loved, and know no matter who you are, what you're going through, there is always much ahead. And a dude that just walked out of the building was just kind of curious and asked me what I was doing. I told him they filmed a movie back here in 1989. He's like, oh yeah, John Ritter. I was like, yeah, that's it, problem child. And he said, coincidentally, they're filming a Hollywood video here right now, so. They don't know what it's called. It's uh, kind of hush hush, but yeah, they're filming a movie in there. So I just walked through, uh, just walked through a hot set. Whoops. And welcome to the bonus features. Now in Waco, Texas, heading south along Interstate 35. This is the only in and out between Austin and Dallas. And don't worry. Oh man, that smells so good. I'll just be in and out. That's for sure. Quality you can taste since 1948. Last time I had in and out was a couple months ago in Los Angeles after I came back from San Diego filmed the Killer Tomatoes video yeah you know what I didn't vlog it though that was late at night after I edited that video but there you go how to give me a double double and also one with animal style I like to bucky bucky I like to bucky bucky check this out gas is only 278 here in Temple Texas just south of Waco oh you can barely see it all right guys I'm gonna fuel up at my favorite spot to stop. It's beaver time. Know you're awesome, know you're loved, and no matter who you are, what you're going through, there's always much ahead. That's right. Right here at Bucky's and beyond. Y'all come back now, you hear? Tampa J, make sure you get Chris the girl some beaver nuggets. I will, Bucky. I love you, Chris. I'll actually get you some cattle corn. No! Get it! Even nuggets. Okay, I'll get those two.